Eyewitness News reporter Mike Marza yeah. is there tonight and has our coverage. Mike. At least Fifth Avenue is open. That's why you see the buses going behind me. And that is part of the plan. Yes, police are preparing in the event a possible indictment of former President Donald Trump. In fact, they're planning to roll out some of the same measures they did when the former president was actually in office. But Fifth Avenue is open tonight in so much anticipation. We mentioned the grand jury delay today. We talked to some legal insiders earlier today, and they suggested that perhaps this could be an indication that the grand jury is nearing the completion of their work and perhaps an indictment of the former president could be coming soon. This guy in a Trump costume is the only demonstration we spotted outside Trump Tower today, but security is tightening. The NYPD, they have deployment plans under all circumstances. In lower Manhattan, the media frenzy continues at Manhattan Criminal Court, even though the grand jury didn't sit for the second straight day. Today, I think there's a couple of possibilities of what's happening. Number Karen one, Friedman Agnifilo, a former prosecutor in the Manhattan DA's office, says the delay could be to coordinate a possible surrender date. They don't want a lot of daylight between uh, a potential indictment and a surrender date. I would wait till the very last possible minute to seek an indictment before that date so there isn't too much time for word to get out. Trump, you know, drums up his supporters and creates another January 6th. I wouldn't put it past him. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg is looking into alleged $130,000 in hush money payments to porn star Stormy Daniels, who says she had an affair with Donald Trump. Former Trump fixer Michael Cohen is the prosecution's star witness. His former legal advisor, Robert Costello, testified for three hours Monday, challenging Cohen's credibility. Perhaps they want to call another witness to rebut things that he said. For an indictment, prosecutors need 12 of the 23 grand jurors. Trump would then be arrested and booked, his mugshot and fingerprints taken before being released pending a court date. The New York Times reporting Trump in private has described the spectacle as a quote fun experience, musing to his friends whether he should smile to cameras outside court. I spoke to him last couple days. He's in excellent spirits. And the last we knew, the former president remains at his home in Florida. Meantime, it appears to be business as usual. After all, he is in the middle of another campaign for another run at the White House. His first official rally for that campaign scheduled in Waco, Texas on Saturday. Of course, a lot can happen between now and then.